what's next? What's next? I mean, I, I suppose if you asked if you asked Google what was next in '97 and '98, they wouldn't. Uh, so I think for for us, we uh, again going back, we started with AR. We realized really quickly that to scale AR, you needed AI. Yeah. Um, that's something we're in the midst of right now. Uh, it will take time. This won't happen overnight. I mean, just, you know, to give you an example, we recognize around five million entities right now. Five million entities. Okay. Um, and we uh, relate that to 30,000 words, and 30,000 words that might express sentiment, so mm -hmm. happiness, darkness. But then entities are people or objects or whatever it might be. So we connect all of that and that we have the understanding uh, it was the equivalent of, uh, of probably a seven, eight-year-old right now, and you've got to think that um, 18 months ago we had nothing. Yep. But that seven-year-old understanding is generic. Then when it comes to verticals, then clearly that's highly mm. developed. So my car example being being one. So what we want to provide is uh, is, is an AR browser that's um, on the back of visual search is yep. able to trigger usually valuable content and. and you know, if you think of that example of you see something that you really like and it might be an item of clothing and it's a red dress and you want to describe that red dress in that moment to be able to find out more about it, yeah. it's actually a really difficult thing to do. It is you hugely difficult. Red dress and then Short, you might... long, uh, summer, winter, yeah. I mean there's so much yeah. taxonomy exactly. involved. Exactly. Uh, whereas pointing your phone at that red dress and either being able to pinpoint exactly yeah. the one it is or similar ones is it's hugely powerful. So, uh, so uh, yeah, we're going really fast and uh, incredibly excited about where this is going. And are you still working with brands? I mean, do you still have? I mean, I, I get I get the kind of the huge consumer yeah. benefit, which I mean, sorry, brands far outweighs a branded experience of being able to catalog everything. I mean, that's fundamental, you know, evolution of search and interaction and engagement and knowledge generation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's an important thing to be doing for the world. Yeah. Um, so alongside that, are you still kind of partnering with brands? Is that a core part of your strategy? So very much so. Yeah. Um, the brands that we've been working with for years now and that we keep getting repeat business from, the projects get more and more exciting because yeah. because our tech is so much better. Uh, and also AR is, is, is here now. I mean, the mood music around AR has been over the last three or four years, I think there's always that conclusion of, is this the year is where it really explodes? Is it, is it going to? Probably is it not going quite, to? but it's going to be yeah. next year. And then yeah. you had exactly the same conversation the following year. I mean, it feels to us that we really are at that point right now. And I think you know, Facebook's announcement um, just 10 days yeah. ago, where actually 12 months ago for Facebook, AR was five years ago, four or five years away. And as of 10 days, AR is now. Um, so it, it feels like it's very much, it's very much there. And uh, from a brand perspective, as I say, we'll continue to work with them on being able to do far more, not just about campaigns, we're actually delivering solutions for them. Yes. Um, something that we're really keen on, and we sort of talk about this concept of democratizing AR, where we don't want to be gatekeepers or actually the only ones in town who mm -hmm. do a lot of these campaigns. So we've developed a set of um, self-service platforms which we encourage agencies, media publishers to, to use. So we have a licensing model for them. And as far as we're concerned, we want as many people in the world going, it, yeah. going, going and doing this. 